Welcome back folks to another YouTube video today. We are doing it on a new pseudo rock build, Obosh Rock, but before I get into it, if you'd like, comment, subscribe. As you can tell up here, we have gotten to 7.6% subscriber rate, which is awesome. Hopefully we can get that up to 10 sometime soon. But let's talk about this little brew of mine. Also, it is a little bit different because I stream part of this and the quality is gonna be a little bit lower on the video, so apologies for that. And also we're doing it on MTG Goldfish to begin with because the because the whole uh, Magic Online is kind of like being wonky right now. So apologies for that, but let's talk about this list. What do we like about this? Why are we on Obosh? Well, really, I just really want to try out every companion, see how they go, but also I love rotting registor and just like trying to do some weird janky stuff with this so something i you know first think of is grave crawler because it's a zombie and rotting registor funnily enough is a zombie dinosaur so once you pitch this grave crawler you can bring it back and kind of get this loop going where it's just like you know you perpetually have this 2-1 and if you discard it it's a real good value discard and we have a combo which was used in standard with demonic embrace which is a plus three plus one flying enchantments so it allows your rotting registrar to be a 10 7 which is actually kind of crucial to be out of unholy uh, unholy heat range well this is like a lot of mana and it's like definitely intensive i definitely wanted to just try it out and see how it goes and the reason we decided to go on obosh was obviously we want to try out every companion but also with rotting registrar plus demonic embrace 10 times 2 is 20 and 20 is the starting life total so that would be pretty sweet if we ever got to pull off that combo other nice things about this list we have an egon as like our second like rotting registrar plus demonic embrace combo and then we're also doing unearth stuff which obviously kind of makes sense with the rotting registrar you can discard your grists your other three drops bring them back for one mana and really just like you know try and cheat on mana as much as possible we also have some like noble hierarchs just to you know curve out a little bit sooner hex drinker because i do think this card's really good right now and well positioned and i think any aggressive green shell wants it so that, that's kind of where i went with it and then stitcher supplier because you know with unearth zombies grave callers all that stuff you kind of want this graveyard synergy to get going and then why like why we have lily you know unearth again just an absolute all-star in this deck with grist as well it counts as a creature in the bin so and it's also not the rock without Liliana. So really, I wanted to have Lily and Grist in here, kind of see how this deck performs, be a little bit more aggressive shell of the rock. Sideboard, just some three drops with Unearth. You know, Full Mayor Mage, very good against, you know, land, any type of strategy with non-basics. So I'm really excited to see if that does anything. And then Veil of Summer wasn't something I was terribly excited about, but you know, I just kind of wanted something for the control matchup and veil vale is a fine option i'm not sure if it's really where you want to be maybe you want thought seizes or inquisitions or something like that but you know we'll try it out we'll see how it goes but anyways just like comment subscribe again before i get into this match and i'll see you all there welcome to the first match folks we are going to reveal our obosh yes obosh feeling weird Ooh, starting hand looks reasonable we have Stitcher Suppliers on Earth. Let's do it. Also, one thing I do really, really enjoy about the Obosh plan is it is kind of a bluff factor because the only real deck that runs Obosh is the, uh, what's it called? The like red weird deck. I don't know the name of it. The like mono red Obosh deck. So making our opponent play around Blood Moon is going to be pretty nice. Whereas, uh, <laughs> we are not on Blood Moon, as you all can obviously tell. But we'll see. Ragman, pretty good against any deck, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Ooh, Liliana of the Veil. Well, hello there, lady. Um, I'm fine just getting the Swamp here. If they want to kill our Stitcher Supplier, power to them. Sup, how's it going, Sandy? Ooh, we got an Egon in the bin. It's a good unearth target. It's a good unearth target. Just a 6 6 death toucher. That's what we like to see. Mistress Bobble. <laughs> they are probably very confused right now what's going on, but I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of liking the way this, this game is starting. Hopefully, they don't have a removal spell for our Stitcher Supplier, but if they do, it's really not that big of a deal. Unholy Heat. What are you milling? grave crawler that's pretty good with our stitcher supplier that we're about to get and they're swinging getting a hex drinker uh-oh that one's spooky 
That one is spooky, not gonna lie. But where is our rotting Regisaur at? That's really what I wanna see. Demonic Embrace, that one looks pretty good. All right, uh, we got another Demonic Embrace. I think we're just gonna get back this Egon here. A 6-6 six, six Death Toucher is pretty decent. Uh, get back our Egon. And we have quite a bit of damage next turn. I'm not gonna lie, like this is just nine in the air. That's a two turn clock. Kind of gets around uh, some stuff here. Also exiles cards from our bin, which is nice. Okay, expressive iteration, that's fine with me. They really can't attack here either. Let's see what they're gonna exile. A thought seize, that's fine. We can Demonic Embrace regardless here, because we can play it out of the bin by just paying three life and discarding a card, so. I think we're actually in a pretty good spot here. They, they can't even attack us this turn, so. And this Demonic Embrace looks fantastic here. Just like a massive, massive thing to do on Egon. Literally just a two turn clock. Uh, we will exile, I guess, just a land and a land. All right. Fetch our forest. <laughs> our opponent says spicy stuff. It is some spicy stuff. <laughs> it is, it is. All right, let's go get our forest. Demonic embrace our Egon here. And we're getting in for nine in the air. And next turn, we even have Demonic Embrace on our Stitcher Supplier. So uh, it's gonna be pretty hard pressed to lose this game, but uh, this Ragaman deck's always very terrifying. Ragaman decks are spooky. When can't, okay. All right, we're F16ing. Uh, what are we worried about? Obviously, we're not worried about Unholy Heat on the Egon. Not really sure what we're worried about. You know, even if we, if we just win this game, it'd all be worth it. They conceded! Woo! <laughs> Here's Egon. Here comes Egon. All right, so I think we want these cards these seven at least and honestly kitchen finks looks pretty sweet here i think we can trim on the ignobles because i don't think that's really what this matchup is about grist and liliana are very good here i do kind of want to trim on our like riding riding ridge store stuff but i think i'm fine trimming on grave crawler here and then maybe a land we'll do that so we have 10 cards you want in this matchup. Maybe we don't need a Finx. Yeah, I think this is fine. Uh, we have 21 three drops. That is kind of concerning. So maybe we do need these Ignobles still. That's a little bit concerning. I do really like Liliana. Egon can probably go. Who goes there? Hello there, Derek. How is it going? Let's trim on these embraces. They are going to be heavy removal. It did look good there, but I'm, I'm kind of fine trimming on it. All right, reveal our Obosh. <laughs> we got our, our one uh our one castle lock wait no. Uh alright. This hand's not great, but I'm gonna keep it. Uh keep. I'm just gonna put back a marsh flats here. We'll see how it goes. Good old zombie. Rotting Reggie spaghetti. Uh what do we have on top, opponent? Tell me it's a good one. Tell me it's a good one. 
We don't have any graveyard hate, I just noticed. Hmm. Did I get rid of my a I did get rid of my Ashiox out of the sideboard. Maybe that's something to be concerned about. That's probably something we should should have thought about. But this is a, this is our first, you know, first run of it. So we'll see how it goes. Oh my god, did I just lag like horribly? That just looked. Oh my Wi-Fi just decided to cut out. Yep. That's what happened. Ah. Ah. Well, the Wi-Fi cut out from the stream, so that's fantastic. Not sure if I lost you all. I probably did lose you all. Did they just pass the turn? They did. Sweet. Honestly, that Castle Octwin was a pretty... <laughs> Another Liliana. Another one. All right. Uh, did I cut out for you all? I'm, I'm sure thinking I did. What is this? Mirror Retriever, Profane Tutor. All right. Well, I cut out for a second. So we're back, I think. Let's just go get another Overgrown Tomb. And yep, we're just slamming a Liliana. I think we can discard one of our uh, extra ones. And then we'll just get, yeah. Yeah, my internet cut out for a second. So next turn, we just get to go Reggie. And I think we're looking pretty good here. They obviously have missed their land drops, which is nice. So I'm a little bit concerned that they might have like, you know, something here, but I'm not sure what. Get rid of this Marsh Flats. So next league, I'm not sure if I'm doing another one after this, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Terminate hits the bin. <laughs> I know I suck. Um, I'm just gonna buy Obosh here. I think they have a removal spell for a rotting registor or a counter spell, one or the other. Or it's both. So I think I'm pretty just like content just buying Obosh. How many card types they have? One, two, yeah, they might just have, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. My internet just cut out again. Is the internet just like dying today? Is that what's going on? Uh oh. Rut row raggy. Yep, that's what happened. Well. Huh. Well, folks, I will uh, cut and I'll be back when the internet. Oh, never, never mind. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? Sadly, I think the stream's going to have to stop. All right, we're back. The internet died. Um, so I'm just deciding to stop streaming because internet's dying. And yeah, so. Just you and I, internet folks, or you and I, YouTube folks. So, uh, obviously, Veil vale Summer is a pretty good one. We can play our Rotting Regisaur. If it gets Unholy Heated, that's fine. But we'll see. Nothing happens to it. We'll just discard this extra Lily. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Okay. Uh, I think we're just discarding the Liliana here. Nurturing Peatland. Uh, all right. Let's go to combat here. Attack for seven. We have a Terminate or Drown. Please go for the Terminate. Unholy Heat. What a shame. 
Yep, yeah, we'll just tick up here. I don't think we're in any real rush. Just start drawing cards at the castle. There's an iteration. Weird they didn't just unholy heat our Liliana. I find that actually very interesting. DRC, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um all right, we gotta take what we can get, but that's that's something. <laughs> I've done that before multiple times. <laughs> so I've done that before. I understand. That I mean stuff happens. Like that's that, I don't really feel like that's a big mistake from the opponent. Like uh I, I have done that countless times. <laughs> it's just like so hard to not do that on accident. Uh, all right. Well, this Veil vale Summer is kind of a bummer. Not really doing much. Uh oh, they did find the land for Kroxa. I think I'm just gonna discard the veil. I think that's just fine with me. So obviously we would like some graveyard hate and it does like that we actually got rid of our embraces here because I think an embrace here would be fantastic, but again, we're fine with it. I, I think we can just discard this veil pretty uh, freely here. Yield to the end step here. And then we'll uh, sack the catacombs. I think they should they should probably know that we're on uh, Veil of Summer here. We can just down tick this turn too. Start getting in there with our Stitcher Supplier. Hopefully we draw something good off of our Veil, or not off of our Veil, off of our Castle. Castle looking pretty good here. Good to note. Good to note. Huh. I don't know why my internet just like died on me twice today. We we have been having some internet issues at my at my humble abode. So let's fetch here. Let's get our swamp. All card. Ooh, Hexy. Welcome to the club, my friend. That was a very, very good one. Very, very good one. Attack. Then we can. Yeah, I think they're just dead. I mean, not this turn or next turn, but very soon they are just dead. Uh, yeah, we'll just level up. Hex Drinker looking fantastic here. Do love this card quite a bit. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna fetch our forest out here and just level it up. So this is gonna be six power attacking next turn. I'm gonna be pretty hard pressed to find a way to lose this game, but it can happen. This, this deck is quite scary. Dress down is something that can do it, like dress down into a removal spell on our hex drinker because it does get rid of the pro everything clause. Um, so we'll see what the opponent does here. If they have an, if they have a sorcery like a dread or something, that could also do it. But I'm not terribly certain that they have something like that. Got Liliana also just like beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, so we're taking, you know, three damage. It's whatever. We can minus. We just need to not lose this game somehow. I think, what what would be a good draw? Rotting Regisaur? Yeah, that's a good one. That allows us to level up Hex Drinker all the way and play Reggie out as just a three mana 7-6. All right, attack. Say go. Our board's looking pretty good. 
Not even engineered explosive does it at this point. They're also at one, so I'm not actually certain they have any draws. All right, GG's. GG's opponent, I will see you all in the second match. Welcome back to match number two. We are in, getting into game one, we are on the draw, and this is a post analysis one because I forgot to hit the record button, so the rest of the games are gonna be in live you know, time, but I thought I'd at least show you this game. So we reveal our Obosh, and looking at our starting hand, definitely a mulligan. They don't have any one drop, and I'm not sure what matchup this would be even good against, maybe control, but th that's just, it's an easy mulligan, so. Looking at our second hand, we have the best card in the deck, Demonic Embrace, not really, but uh, looking at this hand, it's definitely good. We have a one drop, we have an unearth, the cheat on mana, we have a grist, and I think it's a pretty easy bottom of Embrace. Like, there's not many decks where keeping Embrace over Hex Drinker is even worth it, so pretty easy put a brace to the bottom, and we will uh, say go. So our opponent starts on Bobble, which... I'm not sure if this can clue you into anything, but when your opponent plays a Bobble and you don't see a companion, it's really only one deck and it's Murktide region. So that was one thing that I was like instantly, that's what I was locked on about. And then another little key thing to notice is when they when you when your opponent bobbles themselves, there are like two options. They're either on a fetch land or I mean that's really about it, right? They they have to have a fetch land hand. There's no real reason to do that. Or they, you know, they don't really care. Like they just have like they have they only have fetch lands and they they have that option. So when they lead on that on turn one, you should know. Oh, okay, they have a fetch land, and it's weird that they play the spire bluff canal because that means they don't have a fetch land. So that was good, like a good little thing to notice for us. Liliana, fine draw, but obviously turn one easy play. We just you know play our hex drinker and say go. They bolt it, which is like fine. It does suck that we, you know, had to let it get bolted, but it's okay. It's okay. We're not not playing our hex drinker out. So then the fetch land that we we knew about or essentially knew about, we could you know deduct from, was in their hand. And then yep, ignoble was a great draw. If another one drop to play, so we we lead on hex drinker because it's like I think it's less important than ignoble here because we have two three drops, and then they. Just hit it with a counter spell, and that's really not that bad. That's a fine trade. We play our ignoble down, and then we pass the turn. Like definitely, you know, we're ma ahead on mana there, so that's just nice for us. They pass the turn without playing anything, which is fantastic. And then I decided to slam our grist because we have an unearth, but you could consider maybe playing the stitcher supplier and like having an efficient turn, but you don't use up all your mana anyways. And later on, we're gonna be able to cheat with this Grist anyways. So I kind of like this play. They counter it, which is fine. And getting into the next turn, Let's see what the opponent did. They consider, which is good because they're missing their land drops. They kept something on top, which to me says, oh, we found a land drop. But they didn't, which was great. They probably kept the Ragland on top, which is kind of a land drop. But we have a pretty easy play. Our favorite play is the Rock. Liliana down tick. So that, that's just great for us. Then they bolt the Lily. So we get our, our first two for one, which feels great. And then they slam a Murktide. And I mean, like, we're, we're, we're running back the same turn. We're... And drawing the land was also fantastic because now we get to unearth Grist, down tick on the Murktide, and this game just seems over. Like, I'm not actually 100% sure this game is over, but, like, that's so good. We even milled over an Embrace to make any of our creatures good, and they just scoop it up. So that was pretty awesome. And then to talk about Cyborg, because I'm not sure if I actually talked about it in the video or if you're going to see it in the live talk, but essentially... I brought in the pushes and I trimmed the Gravecrawlers because Gravecrawler doesn't block and it's not even that grindy. It's just kind of a mediocre card in this matchup. So we brought in the Fatal Pushes and I believe I trimmed one Egon for a Veil of Summer. So back to the live action. Folks, I just completely forgot to record the first match or the first game. I'm so sorry, but we are, we did take down Merc Tide Regent and we are up against them. So we are going to come into game number two. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm super sorry about that, but here we are. Uh, yeah, we took them down in the first match. 
and it was a pretty clean match where we just got to do like and en not endurance we got to do liliana down ticking I, I might record it uh in the post like the whatever the like behind the scene thing which i really don't love to do but i probably will do that and uh yeah sorry about that so it'll, it'll probably be a little bit less higher of a quality for that all right so obviously we have a pretty decent hand here unearth was a great draw they're considering which is fine we would obviously trade our supplier for their ragavan and all right they missed a land drop which is nice Ooh. All right, so what do we want to do here? We could unearth Rotting Regisaur. I actually don't think I want to do that just yet. Actually, it's actually a pretty decent play. It's just a pretty fast clock. They don't have, I guess they're, they are one off from Delirium here. You know what, I'm gonna go and do it. This is what we came here for the deck to do. We will attack for one. And I think I'm just gonna play out our Hex Drinker here. And I think we're just scouting Veil on our upkeep and just playing another Rotting Regisaur. Yeah, all right. Discard Veil. Marsh Flats. Mm. Ooh, that was a bad land to play. I think I should have played uh, something else, but it's okay. Let's go to attacks here. Um, actually, I kind of just want to hold back Hex Drinker here. I don't know if auto yields. Yep, yeah, we'll just attack with these. Probably gonna chomp here. Oh, no chomp. Okay, uh, I'll just say go. We'll play the Endurance here on the instep. If I was gonna go with this line, I should have attacked with Hex Drinker, but again, it's okay. We messed up. All right, let's play our Endurance. Let's play Endurance. Thank you, thanks. All right, they say GG. Woo, all right, so we are 2-0. 4-0, uh, I think. So I will see you all in the next match. Hopefully I'll remember to press that record button. So, All right, I hit the record button this time. We are here for match number three. We will say yes to going first, reveal our Obash, and say good luck, have fun. Uh, do we like our starting hand? I think this is actually a fine starting hand. Since we're on the play, I like it a little bit more. Are we playing this first? I don't think so. We can always play that next turn. We can always play it next turn. We'll go with Grave Crawler here. Go with the Grave Crawler. Crawlahala. <laughs> I'm such a dope. Whatever. The Crawler is here. All right. We might just play this uh, Throne of Death. I'm not sure if it's correct. But if we have no other play on two, then I think it is. Grief Evoke. Ooh. Unmarked Grave. Okay, well, they're probably taking the Endurance, considering they look to be a, uh, a, whatchamacallit, a reanimator deck, please. Okay, they don't have a Ephemerate. That's fantastic. All right, so kind of shitty. Ooh, okay, Hex Trigger was a good draw. X drinker was gassy gas. Tack for two. Go with hex drinker, level it up once, because why not? And then we're gonna go Grist next turn, and then Egon after that. Hopefully we can clock them fast enough. I have a feeling we're not gonna be able to, but there's always a chance that we might be able to. Okay, seems like nothing. Ooh, Demonic Embrace was a good draw. I'm just gonna get another basic here. Basic Swamp allows us to cast pretty much everything that I can think of. So, okay, actually, do we wanna play Egon here? Let's see. So this is for, they're at, hmm, I'm gonna go to attacks first. So if they're at, this is four, this is 13, this is 10, 
on the board plus three, that is exactly 13. Uh, okay, but they might have Faithful Mending, so I think we should just go Grist. If it wasn't for like Faithful Mending being an option, I think I would just play our Egon here, but since Faithful Mending is in their deck, I'm a little bit concerned that this is just gonna be a Faithful Mending return. Archon of Cruelty turn. We'll sack this Insect token, then we will figure out something. Yeah, Unburial Rights, Archon, pretty good. We just kinda don't have much for this matchup. I think this might be a full Mater Mage matchup. Three for a Mole Drifter. Mole Drifter? All right, well, we're just gonna try and deal as much damage as possible this turn. So if they're gonna gain three, we're gonna discard a card. We gotta just figure out a way to win. Let's see what we draw here. Endurance would be awkward. Uh, is that a good one? Not sure. We're gonna start off by taking up for Sherzies. Ooh, we hit Grist. I think we level up here twice and play a Hex Drinker. And I think they're actually dead next turn. Grist looking fantastic here. They take eight, they go down to... Go up to 11. We can deal three, four here. Take this out. They block here. They take two, three, four, five, six, ten. 10? I think that's 10. But we'll see what they have. If it's just done burial rights, I think we win. On board. I'm mean, not on board, but we do win. Okay, evoking grief, fine. It's all good. Okay, so does this change anything? I don't think so. Take demonic embrace, we can still discard that. Yeah, I think they're dead here. Oh, ephemerate. Okay, now if they have, okay, well they're not dead if they have, well, are they dead? They don't have anything, oof. Okay, they might have... I don't know what they could have. Um, we're just gonna Demonic Embrace up here. What? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna Demonic Embrace up an Insect Token here. We're going to combat. The entire squad's getting in. Okay, this is fine. If they have a Solitude, they might still be in it. This is, no, they're still dead even with, with a Solitude. Because of this Grist emblem, essentially. Two, three, okay, flash, flash, Flashback Faithful Mending, I can't speak. Still don't think that saves them. Blue, white, Faithful Mending, sure. If they find a Solitude off this, then yes, they're alive, right? So they're at nine, Solitude here. That's two, f no, I still think they're dead. Okay, they're dead here, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, I think this is a Fulminator Mage matchup because I think this is just a bad matchup in general. What do we not want? I think we actually want the Ignobles. I don't think we want the Pushes. Maybe we want Veil, I'm not actually certain. Liliana is meh here. It's not like completely useless, but it's definitely not something I'm interested in. Uh, let's see, what else do we want? Egon is fine, but I think it's just a worse Rotting Regisaur here. Fisher Supplier, I think we want that. I think, we're, I think we are interested in the veils, just because of uh, the stupid evoke creature. And I'm gonna trim a Gravecrawler, we'll do this. We'll try it. My mana value, let's say go. Let's hope we find a good hand. The demonic embraces have actually looked pretty decent. Looked pretty decent. Yield through the turn. 
Oof. Ooh, yeah. Obosh revealed. Uh, starting hand's not very good. This is a mulligan. I'm gonna keep this. Definitely risky, but let's keep it. Let's keep it. Another unearth. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, good thing we have this veil for the endurance. But I'd like to actually draw another green card or land. Ooh, this is a push. Hmm, that's annoying. That is annoying. That's okay though. Okay, they're saying go. Many rage, rip. Rip. Not good. Not good. Missed our land drop. Not looking great. Okay, be faithful mending. All right, so we're gonna have to get pretty fortunate here. I'm thinking a way that we're gonna win this game is they're gonna have to go for the grief plan and then we're gonna veil. Oh, they don't even have anything, okay. And then we'd have to draw into a green card, but we don't have that, so. We do not have that. Ooh, maybe I should have unearthed my Hex Drinker. I think that might have been a reasonable play that I just kind of missed. I think we'll do it this turn though. Okay, we found a land too, which is great. Uh, not, not feeling good about unearthing a Hex Drinker, but it's the play we have to make. And then hopefully we get to go Fulminator Mages for the rest of the day, for the rest of the time being. Fulmayor Mage, we bop there. White Source. And we're not going to fetch here because we want to find a land. Oh, wow. They are flooding bad. They are flooding real bad. Smatic ending. Boo. Boo! Well, the Fulmayor Mages don't look great against the, uh, the opponent who's flooding. Land, okay, not bad, not bad at all. Swamp, and we'll get a dual land here. I'm just gonna play Fulminator Mage. See if they fetch on the end step here. If they don't, we'll just upkeep, bop their white source. Maybe I should have gone for the blue source, but kind of fine taking the white source out. Okay, that's fine. A land would be great, because then we get to go Fulminator Mage, bop, bop. Uh, hopefully they don't have just Unmarked Grave, whatchamacallit, but it doesn't look like they do. Okay, land was good. We get to lead on uh, I guess we want to hold up this green source here just in case they have like a counter spell. But we'll go Fulminator Mage. Bop the white source. Did they do Faithful Mending here? Okay. Yeah, don't, don't discard a Cruelty, please. Please give us a turn. Okay, nothing, nothing important. Cast on Earth on a full Mater Mage, and I'm gonna say go. I kind of want to take out their Flooded Strand. I want to not let them have white. I'm not sure if this is like the right line, but I'm kind of interested in just boning them off of white mana rather than. Blue mana. Okay, they don't have a land, which is great. Demonic Embrace. It's not a bad one, but let's just go. Let's just go Obosh here. We'll attack.
we will we will definitely take them off of white if that's that's like our plan right we, we don't want them to have white mana we also we are we're looking pretty good here we have endurance to cover the graveyard we have veil of summer to cover something else and we have obosh next turn so okay we didn't draw obosh or a mana for obosh but i think we're fine just stitcher supplying here and go into attacks i think i just want to i think this turn uh should i maybe i shouldn't am i fine just casting this endurance not sure kind of feel like i want to hold up endurance okay they're going for their white mana now oh okay they have a basic did not realize that well, what we're going to do here is, yeah, we'll bop it. And, uh, I guess we'll wait to see what they discard and we'll bop their blue source. If they put something in the graveyard that is a creature, I think I will just bop them off of blue. Yeah, we're going to bop them off of blue now. They don't have anything in the bin that's even remotely useful. Um, I'm just going to hold up this endurance for the rest of the game. I'm not sure, like, even if they, let's see what they're doing. Prismatic ending for one on our goals. That is, that is just pure, utter goals. Uh, I think I should endurance now. I think it's time. Okay, Rotting Regisaur, so if we attack them for three, then 10, that is lethal. Yep, all right, Rotting Regisaur, discard the Embrace. This is what, this is the combo in Standard, <laughs> but also the combo in soon to be modern, soon to be modern. Um, we're gonna be discarding. I guess, I guess, yeah, we'll discard the embrace here because there's a chance we just want to slam Obosh here. Yep, I think we're just slamming Obosh here. First time casting the Obosh in our Obosh deck. All right, we're swinging. Do you have a removal spell? You have a Solitude, which is going to hit probably our Rotting Regisaur, yeah. Don't, don't have an Ephemerate. Oh my God, they have an Ephemerate, ugh. God dang it, that's so good. That is so good for them. All right, well, now we're in trouble. We are definitely in trouble now. That's so, so nasty. All right, well, we have decent draws. We have a demonic embrace in our graveyard. So I still think we're in an okay position. We just need to draw a threat of any type. So that, that qualifies. Uh, yep, that, that works. Uh, yeah, we're racing, I guess. We'll demonic embrace next turn, have a, what, a five, five drop? I uh, should turn off auto yields here, right? There's a chance they have like a removal spell. All right, well, we're we're racing. Funny little race we got going on here. Funny little race. Unmarked grave, Ugh. boo. Boo, boo, boo. Are we gonna lose this game? I feel like we're gonna lose this game. Demonic Embrace, discard Ignoble. Hack for five. Nope, I don't want to sack. Oh man. Oh, was I too haste with our endurance? I probably was. I should have saved it. I think that's where I made a mistake this game. 
All right, well, at least we get to Veil. Maybe we can draw a well, full meter page. That's not what we were looking for. Not what we're looking for. They're holding back. Interesting. Ooh, Gris. Gris does something. Attack. Maybe I should have held. No, I shouldn't have held back. It's like, should I have held back? No. Play Grist. Down tick. All right, kill your Archon. Don't have another one, please. Don't have another Persist, please. You have another Persist for dead. I mean, it's just kind of how it is. Kind of just how it is. Oh. Four mana, ugh, grief. Boo, boo. Damn. Well, the Solitude Ephemerate blew us out so hard. So hard, so hard. Um, I, th I think we're dead here. Maybe an Endurance could do it. Uh, okay, what does that get us? A Fulminator Mage, or I guess a Grist, realistically, is our best one. Get back, yeah. Got a grave crawler. Okay, I mean it's not horrible. <sighs> Maybe there's a chance they start attacking us instead of our grist, and then we have a out of grist ultimating. But I don't think that's gonna be the case. Yeah. All right. Well, jump block their insect this turn. It's kind of like the same thing as blocking. All right. Demonic Embrace. What a card to draw. It does trade with the Solitude, but I think we're going to let our Grist go. And maybe, maybe this Insect Token can go the distance. Maybe, just maybe. I would highly doubt it can go the distance, but I'm going to... Uh, attempt for it to go. Okay, they have the unbearable rights. All right, we're dead. We're dead. Tough match, tough match, or tough game. We are still live. We are still live. Uh, let's see. I think we're submitting the list right back. Right back. Let's let's hope that we can keep a good one here. I don't want this endurance to do some work. <laughs> all right all right um huh i actually like this starting hand i know it's not very aggressive but it does have fulminator mage and two on earths and i actually think that's a fairly decent way to win this match and if they go like veil of summer or if they go uh sorry grief ephemerate we can veil of summer so All right, let's just fetch our dual land here. Endurance was a good one. Endurance is actually a very good one. Um, all right, just fetch a dual land, please. All right, they do fetch a dual land. It's great for us. Now we just need to draw a land. I think we're in good shape. Actually, like I think we're actually in very good shape. Okay, they have their polluted delta, which is fine. We'll bop their godless shrine. We draw our, we didn't draw the land, boo. But Stitcher's Flyer is a close second best draw. Not gonna lie. Rotting Regisaur, count me in. Count me in. We can even go discard Rotting Regisaur, unearth it. And then we have a very, very, very fast clock. Just don't have solitude, please, opponent. That is what we are afraid of. The stupid, the solitude ephemerate trick against us is actually insane. It's like, it's almost like game ending, it feels like. Which is something kind of annoying, but I think it's also okay. 
All right, clean up, discarding Archon, annoying. All right, discard a Regisaur. Got another Regisaur. All right, um, let's go to attacks. Attack you. All right, I think, I think we're in on the game plan. We'll unearth our Rotting Regisaur. If they have grief or if they have ephemerate, whatever, uh, solitude ephemerate, we we lose. It's okay. Sometimes you just kind of have to accept the fact that you lose to it. Persist. All right. Endurance. This is our whole game plan. If you have it, you have it. It's okay. Do they have it? It seems like they do. Um, all right, so can we beat it? No, so let's swing with everything. Yeah, there's no world where we're beating it. So if they want to eat our stitcher supplier with it, they got it. Like we're we're not beating it. Okay, like if they have it, they have it. We lose. If they don't have the ephemerate, they discard an ephemerate, which does not make me feel very good about this. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, well, we might be okay. Might be alive. I thought this game was just over. So they don't have another white card in hand. So they must just have a persist on the solitude and that's their game plan. But our kind of cruelty doesn't even do any. Wow, holy shit, we won? <laughs> All right, folks, we are three and zero. Oh, let's get into the fourth match. We're here for match number four. We're on the play, which is fantastic. Uh, our hand looks pretty good too, so let's run it. Let's run it and uh, yeah. Let's hope that uh, our Ignoble doesn't die on turn one. But I think we're gonna go turn to Rotting Regisaur. If they give us the opportunity, just depending on what they are though. Steam vents. Ooh, they're letting us untap. Okay, that's good. Uh, What are we scared of? Not sure. Not sure, I'm just gonna go Rotting Regisaur. We'll discard this Ignoble. We have them on a two turn clock. Ooh, okay. Well, do we have bad news for you, my friend? So we just need to leave open our pitch spell. And I think we're in a good spot. Um. Boy, oh boy, do we have some bad news for you. Uh, let's discard our embrace here. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna attack here. And do we edict ourselves on our rotting regisaur? And probably not, right? That just seems kind of heinous. Uh, we could just like. Yeah, I kind of like Lily here. Yeah, let's go Lily. And do nothing. Just kind of like having it in play. We can discard this Verdant. Green card would be good. Um, That's fine. Uh, so I guess we want to, do we want to evoke? I think we do. I think we want the creature in play. 
Yeah, I think we do want the creature in play. All right, so Endurance gets evoked. This is fine. I actually don't think we're taking up again, funnily enough. Uh, yeah, I guess we don't want to give them another living end in their deck in case that's relevant. So yeah, I guess we're just playing Gravecrawler. I don't think we're taking up with this Lily. Maybe that was a mistake playing the Lily. So they don't have any f okay so i guess they're going for a another oh my god that's good uh all right so we attack for five we could tick up this time but i don't think it's worth it honestly i think we should edict ourselves here We have them on a two turn clock anyways. I guess they're just dead next turn. Nah, I'm gonna edict them. I edict, edict us. I'm gonna sacrifice our endurance. Alright, let us draw a land, please. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet! All right, you're at two. We could have gone for the embrace there, but I don't think it's worth it. Cycling. All right, <laughs> take them down, which is great. Um, all right, Fulminator Mage seems fantastic. I think Veils are also fine here. Okay, what's bad? Gravecrawler is hot booty crack. Uh, Egon's fine. Liliana is hot booty crack. Uh, I think Kitchen Finks is just better. Because if it dies, at least it comes back. That's kind of interesting. So uh, maybe his embraces are just bad here too. Does, does Living End give us back Grist? I'd assume so, right? I actually have no clue how that works. Uh, okay, I'm interested in Embrace, but I'm not sure for what. Might just be for Unearths, because... No, we have Fulminator Mages. Let's, eh, let's keep the Embraces over these two Finxes. Dwight K. Schrute. We're up against the Dwight. The Dwight. Uh, yeah, I think this hand's fine. And it's fine. We have we have endurance and we have a ramp spell, so we can't really ask for much more. Hopefully, we just get to full mana mage them out of the game. But there's always a chance that we don't find our land, and then we're in a bad spot. Forgot to wish our opponent good luck. Have fun. Uh, okay, saying go. Just fine with me. Land on Earth. On Earth is actually pretty good here. Allows us to go Stitcher Supplier unearth something if we need. If we need, or if we draw a land, we get to go Fulminator Mage and try and just cheese them out that way. Land. Hey -o. Hey -o. I think I'm gonna shock here. Just because I don't think it's gonna damage isn't really gonna matter. Alright, Fulminator Mage. Looking beautiful. Do we have a counter spell? No, okay. It's like, what counter spell could you have? All right, pop your land. You getting a dual land here? Okay, well, I think this game's over. Funnily enough, Fulminary Mage also goes to the bin, so. All right, they don't have land. Fantastic. Fulminator Mage 2, the Electric Boogaloo. Bop your land. Let's play our Stitcher's Supplier. Guess we'll shock for it. Alrighty. 
Ooh, and we drew an embrace. So we have them dead pretty quickly here. <laughs> sure. Don't know what you even want to take here. Not certain there is a correct option, but we'll see. I'm assuming they have a land here. Or else they would have cycled the street rate to find one. So I'm kind of interested to see what the hell their hand is. Yeah, they're probably on a tapped land here. No, really. Ooh, Veil Summer. Uh, yeah, let's go to attacks here. Attack you for two. And we'll just play out our Rotting Regisaur. And we'll embrace it next turn. And I think we're looking good here. I think we're looking good. I think they're dead before they get to three lands. All right, Veil Summer, you can go. All right, they concede. All right, folks, I'll see you all in the last match. All righty, we're getting into the fifth and final match. We are 4-0. And our starting hand looks reasonable. Does look reasonable. I'm going to keep it. Going to keep it. Ooh, there is a bug next to me. Shoo, flash, shoo. All right, don't be, uh, <laughs> please don't be a rude a rude run and six deck because we are very 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 weak to that card all right cross my fingers please don't have it please no should we just concede now god don't you dare oh they didn't have it hallelujah all right uh, all right, another one. Another one. Does this resolve? Another one. All righty, Hex Drinker, go. What is this, Ice Fang? All right, I'm fine with that. I am a-okay with that one. So is this, this isn't even Yorion Blink. Kind of curious what this is. Do they have a Ren? Ren would have been, okay. Oh, are they missing a land drop here? Hmm, doesn't look like it. So what do we want here? Not actually certain. A demonic embrace would be kind of sweet, but I guess they already have flying. I'm just being dumb. Okay, what are we? What are we? Are we getting rid of our hex drinker? Okay, that is fine with me. Fine with me. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's Grist here, sadly. Grist is just pretty good. We kind of want to land though. Or something to do with this unearth. Ah, oh, there's our land. Ooh. God, let us find a land. A land would be so, so good for us right now. I think they're missing on land drops too, because the way they played this turn was a little awkward. Oh my god, all the ice things don't have a land. Just say go. Just say go. Okay. Looks like they don't have a land drop. Or it looks like they're missing at least for this turn. Oh, that's a weird attack. Oh, they have a bolt? Okay. All right, that's fine. So let's go unearth our grist. Tick up here.
Right, Liliana hits the wayside. It's fine. Grave crawler. We're both missing land drops. We're getting in there for three. Um, I think we're in a good spot. I think we're in a good spot. Oh, hold up. Turn off all yields. Turn off all yields. I should play this Egon. Oopsies. The, I forgot this has a uh, other half. Oopsies. Throne of Death. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be playing this half. Oh, doggy. Throne of Death. What a magic card. What a magic card. So I think we're playing Rotting Registrar next turn and hoping that goes the distance. Prismatic ending are ignoble. Annoying. And another land, okay. Three, are they gonna bounce? Yeah, it looks like they're gonna bounce our Ignoble here. Just fine, I mean, it's not even that spooky. It's weird, do they wanna let us like untap with this Grist? I don't know. They get to keep their Teferi around, which is kinda nice. But all right, mill, don't, it's a land, god dang it, aha, we found a land, finally. Finally. Um, all right, well, let's start off with a tick up. Let's go with an ignoble. We're just attacking them. We don't care about Teferi, right? Yeah, I don't think we care. Say go, all right. Okay, they have a fetch land. I don't know what that's gonna go get. Oh, what's in their hand? I don't think it's removal spells. It could be a solitude. Not really certain. They're fetching, interesting. One, two, three, Ranger, Captain of Eos. Huh. Fervent Champion, okay. I don't really know what we're up against. I like it though. Two fervent champions, funny. What are we looking for? I'm not really certain. Endurance, ooh. Hmm. Yeah, well, these fervent champions are good. <laughs> Um, huh. Yikes. Well, hmm. Can't really get through these Ice Fang quaddles. Um, what are we looking for? What are we looking for? Ugh. Well, huh. So if we attack with everything at them, nothing happens. These have freaking flying. So I guess I am just gonna go with Egon. Not really certain. I'm just hoping that they somehow lose this demonic embrace. I'm not sure how that's gonna happen. I'm hoping they attack with all their ice fangs and hope that their their ground can hold off of our ooh stoneforge mystic. Okay, well that one's spooky. Uh, 
That one is terrifying. Sword of Feast and Famine. Okay, you were playing it. All right. Well, please attack with your Death Touchers. Please. Damn it. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, guess what is this card, Rotting Regisaur? I think that's game. Ugh! God damn it. Stu stupid board. These stupid death touchers. That's what's getting me right now. Um, is there a way for us to get through this? There might. A brave crawler. All right, I'm gonna play out our endurance. Hope they kind of go for something here. Say so go. Hope that uh, Demonic Embrace, please swing it through Death Touchers. <laughs> That's what we need. Swing in the air, Demonic Embrace for the win. Please. All right, they bounce Egon, whatever. Can we survive this turn? Um, Probably. Teferi, bounce here. We block one, two, three. We might be okay. They bounce this. Oh, they're bouncing our hierarchy. Ugh, that's even worse. They know. They know. Why didn't they bounce the endurance? God damn it. No. No! Why not attack with the other one? Um. Ugh, okay. I don't think we have an out, but let's see. This feels so bad. All right, whatever. <sighs> Man. Grave crawler, goodbye. Damn you, demonic embrace. Four mana, oh, okay. All right, all right, you got us, you got us, you got us, you got us. That's whatever, that's whatever, I don't care. Oh, okay. Full mayor mage, come in. Fatal push, come in. Grave crawlers, we'll be seeing you. Um, Liliana, probably not great against fervent champion, but kind of curious to see how that goes. Stitcher supplier is fine. Uh, obviously, hex drinker is okay. I think the demonic embraces can go and same, same with Liliana. I, I'm not really certain that uh, demonic embraces for this matchup because they just have ice fang quotals, which is the problem. This is the problem. Ugh. Ugh. Let's hope. Let's hope. God, I hope I get this. <laughs> oh, please. I have I have a bunch of people in the Discord watching it. Uh, I think this is fine. <laughs> oh, this hand's so risky. I'm gonna keep it though. Oh, the double forest hands. They're brutal. But early Lily is fine. And early Hex Drinker. All right, ignoble. Let's get in there, buddy. Definitely keeping some risky hands because, uh, uh, prismatic ending. All right, this is fine. This is fine. Stitcher supplier, all right. Okay, let's see. 
Uh oh, not Rin. Oh, okay, Stoneforge Mystic. That's fine. Just the Black Source. Black Source, please. Please and thank you. Please and thank you, Black Source. I've never wanted a Black Source so bad in my life. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. Let's freaking go. Ugh, come on. Come on, Hex Drinker. Let's go the distance. I'm curious if they're a Renin Six deck. I think they must they must be a Renin Six deck, right? Fervent Champion. Okay. That would have been spooky. Okay. Funny that this is in their deck, but. Do we have a missing land drop? Missing land drop, no. Okay. Birds of Paradise. All right. So this is fine with me. Um. All right. Let's go level up. Level up. Okay, that worked. Uh, all right, Stitcher Supplier. See what this hits. The Grist would be nice, a Fulminator Mage. Uh, do we want a Fulminator Mage? I'm not sure. Can we level this up all the way? Uh, I think we should unearth here. All right, if their whole turn is, I mean, they're dead next turn, no. Mm. We're gonna lose our Liliana, but I think that's fine. Ugh. Come on, buddy. Oh, they had a land, boo. Boo you. All right, so they equip. We're gonna lose our Lily, which is fine. We just need this, uh... Just need this, hmm. Just need this Hex Drinker to get all the way. We just need to draw land. Land would be great. And they have nothing. What is this? This is the white source. This is the white source. Okay, ranger is fine. Fervent champion, okay. Come on, land drop. We want a land drop. That's what we want. Land drop, damn it. Ooh, that's not great. Ugh. Demonic Embrace, that's in our sideboard, right? Yeah. Uh, all right, let's... Do we want to draw here, or do we just want to level up our Hex Drinker? Uh, all right. I think our game plan is Stitcher Supplier, level up Hex Drinker. All right. Hexy, get there. Is there a reason to do that? I guess so. All right, We're, we have a game plan. It's called Hex Drinker, protection from everything, let's go.
Let's go. Shadow Spear? No! What <laughs> the fuck? God damn it. That's so good. A rest in peace? Sure. Doesn't matter. Uh, Alright, so they're fetching too. Okay. Can we beat them? We probably can beat them, right? Just gotta level this up. We buy Obosh. Then we can play Obosh the following turn, and they're dead. All right, so we needed them to fade a draw, and this Hex Drinker is pretty much unbeatable, so. I think we get there if we find a land drop. This is fine. This is fine. That counts as a land drop. Not really. Damn it, that doesn't count as a land drop. Um, all right. So if we block, block, take six, gain six. Uh, tapping here, we block, bang, bang. Yeah, I think it doesn't really matter. God, a land drop would have been so much better than that ignoble. We're at three. Uh, so close. <laughs> Go snake, please. Please and thank you. Uh, they're attacking here. Uh, don't have an answer to that stupid card. All right, how do we win? Um, I don't think we have an out. I I'm pretty certain we're just dead here. Okay, them switching up doesn't matter. Yep, they're at one. God, we're so close. <laughs> Uh, okay, wait, another Ignoble Hierarch does it. Ignoble. Fulminator Mage. Uh, God dang it. Uh, black and green. What a disappointing way to lose in the final match. Ugh. So close to, to greatness, one point short. All right, let's just make them, make them show us that they have it. Ugh. Make them show us that they know what they're doing. Dee -dee 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 -dee. It's so sad. No! They even had an Omnap. All right, we're dead. Oh, man. All right, I will see you all in the outro. All right, well, let's talk about the deck. We went 4-1, and I really didn't expect it. This was my first run with it. Cards that impressed me. Grist obviously felt decent. Unearthed were pretty good as well. I mean, I think this card is a very good magic card. And I don't know, the Demonic Embrace. What a card. Did that just like come out of nowhere and just impress everyone? I, I think this deck has some legs and I honestly did like the Fulmator Mage loops as well. It does suck that we lost to, I mean, we lost to Sword, right? And I think if we played that game a little bit dis differently, we might've been uh, in a better position. So it does suck that we lost that one. I think the sideboard also needs some work. I don't think Veil vale Summer is very good. Uh, I don't think, you know, I, th I think Fatal Push is a little awkward as well, and Kitchen Fing Swell, I think it's fine, it just didn't really come in because we didn't play up against, uh, what is it, Burn, so, I don't know, but the main deck looked pretty good, I think these Grave Crawlers could also be something else, I wasn't terribly impressed with them, I honestly feel like maybe playing a Rancor in this list would be interesting, something like that, but Hex Drinker, 
always impresses me. Super good. Liliana did its job. The Obosh didn't really come in, so maybe what we wanna be doing is not playing Obosh at all, and then we get some two drops, access to that. Like, we get access to Goyf, and then we get to be a little bit more of an aggressive shell of the rock. A little bit more of like a whole holistically like into unearth stuff we could probably trim the stitcher suppliers at that point and just kind of run with it that way goif plus embrace i'm kind of curious to see that might be my next build but yeah anyways thank you all so much for watching i know this isn't like a traditional rock list but i really did want to try out a obosh variant and just kind of see how it goes maybe try a rock list with each of the companions that's really what i'm looking for so look out for the yamori one we'll, we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes but at some point i will do one with each companion just because i'm just kind of interested to see how they go and anyways i will see you all in the next one